Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. We have been talking about how the season has changed outside. Have you noticed what's been happening outside? Are there leaves on the trees now? Or are they all gone? Most of the trees when I look outside are bare. That means their leaves have fallen. You can just see the sticks and branches of the tree. It's getting colder outside too, have you noticed? What do you need to wear when you go outside? Do you need to put on a coat and maybe a hat and put on warm shoes? Can't wear sandals right now, it's too cold. Some of the animals have started to take a rest or hibernate. That means animals and plants go to sleep for the cold, cold winter months. Well, other things happen in the winter time too. Have you noticed when you're maybe in the car driving around, have you noticed that some people have got lots of lights decorating their houses? You have, yeah. Sometimes at this time of the year, there are some holidays that happen. Hanukkah, Christmas, Ramadan can happen. Um, Diwali, there are, oh, I almost forgot another one, Kwanzaa. So there are some holidays that happen right now too. Well, this time of the year, people kind of do some special things. And we're gonna talk about that in a book I have right here called Hanukkah. It's called, when you do special things every year at the same time, it can be called a tradition. So we're gonna read this book, Hanukkah, and find out if there's any special things like traditions that this family is doing to celebrate this time of the year. If I look on the, on the book, on the cover, I can see that these children are outside. There's the moon, but there looks like there's snow on the ground. So it must be cold outside. Just like it is for us right now, it's getting cold outside. Let's, let's find out about this book, Hanukkah. In darkest December, night steals in early and whisks away the light. So it's December, just like right now. But warm inside, Mama, Papa, and Grandma Rose light the sun. Can you see what they're lighting up? They're lighting candles. Yeah. You might have started lighting some candles to celebrate some maybe tradition or holiday in your family. While Nora and Dan, Ruthie and Sam, sing a song that is a prayer. Birthday, Mo points and drops his bottle. Hot. No, Hanukkah, Sam says. Say Hanukkah, Mo. Mo tries to say Abada and drools on Sam's hand. Come on, Nora whispers to the others, and while the candles burn bright, five small children slip out of sight. They're going upstairs. Nora and Dan in the kitchen fry some batter. Flip flap here, flip flop there. Potato pancakes in the air, latkes flying everywhere. Oh, they're cooking potato pancakes that are called latkes. Mmm. Ruthie in the bedroom mixes some paint. A drop of blue, a drop of red, a drop of purple on Rabbit's head. While off in the corner, tucked away, Sam shapes a dreidel out of clay. Top, Mo shouts, spinning round and round. Yes, dreidel, Sam says, for Hanukkah. 
Then one by one, their gifts in hand, the children gather round. They're getting together. Ooh, look at this. Grandma carries her favorite dish. Pot roast, warm and brown and rich. Papa brings in his salad, cool and crisp. And Mama, her applesauce, delish. Mmm, they're getting ready to have a, a meal together. The latkes have landed. The latkes have landed, Sam shouts holding out his plate. Mo grabs five, unable to wait. Have you ever had pancakes before? Yeah, these are pancakes that are made out of potatoes and that's what they're called latkes. And as the Hanukkah candles lean head to head, so does the family. Oh, ah, uh, Mmm, yum. Burp. I think they're full. But wait, there's more. There's no escape. It's Grandma's famous lemon cake. And cookies and candy and fruit and nuts. And now that's all. Enough's enough. Time for presents, or what's a party, for songs, for dances, and something more. Love, Light, Hanukkah. Say Hanukkah, Mo, Sam says. Come on, Mo, say Hanukkah. Anu, Mo gurgles. Nanu, Mo drools. Hanu, Mo giggles. Hanukkah. Mo shouts and hugs Sam. Hanukkah. And as the candles burn low and lose their light, eight sleepy people say good night. I think everybody in this family has gone to bed. And that was a story about Hanukkah, something that, a holiday that happens at this time of the year, and people have some special traditions with it. They made those potato pancakes called latkes. That was one of their traditions. And it looked like they had another tradition too. It's on the back. It was those candles that they lit. Yeah, you might be lighting candles to celebrate something, at, with a tradition at this time of the year. Well, my family, we have a tradition at this time of the year. We, we do some baking and we make something called a mince pie. This is one. They're really small. They're not very big. This is for one person. This is just one little pie. And if you see on the front of it, it's got a little design on it that looks like a snowflake. Well, inside the minced pie is something called mince meat. And we only eat it at this time of the year. We don't eat it in the summertime. We only have it in the winter time. And I'm going to take a little bite so you can see the inside of it. Mmm. That's the inside of my mince pie. It's got minced meat in there. There are raisins and pieces of fruit and different kinds of spices. It's really good to eat. Well, I'm going to put the rest of this down and have it a little later. You might be doing some special things this time of the year with your family celebrating traditions. It's nice talking to you. Bye.